What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch his keeping? Ah. Laura T at Dream Deals 1 through 3 on eBay. I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I made $120 overnight, but probably had some of the, some pretty bad sales. <clears throat> but I'm going to talk about why that's not a bad thing when I finish. All right. Let's start with maybe the worst and go to the best. This pin. I sold. It's a really, really cool copper B pin that I paid five dollars for. I rarely buy jewelry, and I rarely pay more than a dollar or two so for it. And I'll tell you why, because I didn't pay. I lost money on this. I had it for a long time. Finally got an offer. I took it. Um, so I paid five for it. That's why I lost money. I didn't realize I paid that much. Because when I take offers, I don't. I should always look and see what I paid, but it doesn't really matter. I want to move the stuff. So they paid $5 for it and $4 shipping, but after everything, I made negative two on that. And then I sold this scarf. Uh, scarves are good. I've had luck with silk scarves. Uh, you don't didn't make a lot of money on them. Land's End Green Polka Dot Blue Silk Scarf, 25 by 25. I got it for free, so they paid six dollars and three dollars they paid nine i made three dollars and then um probably bought this dress just because it was so incredibly cool looking but i uh, did not have a lot of interest you know sometimes got to think about what is going to be the market for this and i think it's small a size six how many size six women out there are going to buy this i don't know if there's a lot but it's cool it's very cool it's called Victoria Holly Cobalt Blue Fish Embroidered Linen Blend Dress, size six, resort, nautical, is what I put in there. It did sell, but not for a lot. It sold for, and I paid $5 for it, which I consider not too bad for a dress, but they only paid 18 and six for 24. Well, I made $10 on that. So depending on how you look at it, I had almost, I've dub doubled what I put into it and had almost maybe 30% margins. And then um, this Vineyard Vines, kind of back and forth on Vineyard Vines. I don't know, you really gotta check it. Well, here's Darcy, hi Dars, hi Darcy. Comes to visit once in a while. Vineyard Vines, medium, Easy chambray shirt, short sleeves, popover tunic shirt, size medium. I paid $6. They paid 16 and six shipping. So they paid 22 and I made $11 on that. And then this Lauren Ralph Lauren, good name, good pattern. This plaid is in. Um, a medium Lauren Ralph Lauren women's red plaid cotton ruffled long sleeve blouse size medium. I paid three dollars for it. They paid five dollars, six shipping, so eleven. So I only made a dollar on that. So I'm having having you know, but let me talk about it at the end because I'm not, I'm not upset. <laughs> this sold very quick. Polo Ralph Lauren with this big pony. I've never seen it before, but I've heard that they sell and after some hemming and hawing and thinking I might not get it, then getting it, thinking I might return it, I did list it and I paid $6 and sold for 28 plus seven on a best offer. Um, so they paid 35, so I made 18 on that. So that was my best buy, my best sale and very quickly. Um, maybe took it too quick, I don't know. But the way I want to do things is just if I get a decent offer on something, I'm just going to take it. 
for the most part. I mean, if it's, it's got to be decent if it's something new. So, um, you know, all these, well, wait a minute, let me finish this. I made 120 gross and only 41 net. So 30% sell, uh, margins there. So I made 35,764 gross this year and 17,783. It all adds up. $41 a day, time, let's say $40 a day times every day is 1,200 a month. 12,000, oh, there he is again. 12,000 a year. Okay. And uh, 120,000 in 10 years. Oh, it adds up, you know, $120,000 if you're just doing this. So, but the reason that I'm taking these low offers is I'm, I think of all this old stuff, be, moving and downsizing. We've got very, such little, you won't believe what I show you, how little space I'm going to have. And I don't think it's quite sunk in yet, but if this stuff doesn't sell that I've had for months and months, by the time we move, I'll probably donate it. So it's kind of like one of those desperate yard sales where if somebody comes and says, will you take a buck for that? You're like, yeah, yeah, just move it along. Because I'm figuring even if I make a few dollars, I, you know, I should avoid the ones where I don't make anything, but that's pretty rare. I usually make something and I usually make fairly good. I mean, I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't sell in the next, you know, I don't know when we're going to sell our house now because it's taking longer than I thought, but we do have somebody coming for a second showing Saturday morning. So we will see what happens and we have an open house this weekend, but, um, I've, you know, now I think we might be here for a while. Interest rates look like they're going to come down, so a lot of people might just be waiting for that. I might wait for that if I was in that situation, if I didn't absolutely have to move right now. Plus, everybody's packing. I have to go send Christmas gifts out. Nobody has time to be moving right now unless they really have to. And then how many of those people, you know, are going to want this house at this price and everything so there's so many variables so we might be here through the spring um i would be very surprised if it didn't sell pretty well in the spring though when when that's when the housing market really picks up and if interest rates drop i think we're going to see a lot of great stuff <clears throat> stock market just went way up so that was nice um that's always nice I like to see the economy going you hear all kinds of stuff, you know, that we're going to go have the biggest, worst recession. You know how long I've been hearing that? Ever since I've been watching, you know, YouTubes, it's going to be the worst recession ever. It's always doomsday. And that's, you know, I mean, it's like the same with eBay. Uh, clickbaiting doomsday stuff brings in the watchers. I watchers. I watch it. Uh, try not to so much anymore, but... Actually, I really don't. I don't even listen to the stock market stuff anymore. I just invest a, a little bit. That's what we've done our whole lives. We've invested a lot. And it's really great to invest. And it all adds up. So, uh, but what I want to invest in as we move is in more products in my store that have a higher, you know, much higher sell-through rate and higher value. And I really think that um, a move towards men's clothing clothing might be, you know, doing a lot more. I'm starting to spend a lot more time in the men's clothing area, and I think it's paying off. So I'll be doing more, more of that. Oh, I was listening to one of my new favorite reseller YouTubers, Jen the Reseller. Do you know what she said? She used the word discombobulated. I thought I was the only YouTube reseller using the word discombobulated. I really like Jen the Reseller. Check her out. <laughs> She does clothing and she talks about sell through rate, and although she does it in a weird way. Did I talk about this yesterday? I think I did. Um, I don't know. I find a new clothing reseller and I get a little, uh, I get, I, I binge on them. I really like it. And now there's a new one today I was watching that I've got to, um, I forget the name, but I'm going to start watching him. He was good too. All right. Well, um, doing Darth? Well, I hope everybody's doing well. I got a lot of things to do today. I'm going to try to get some Christmas shipping out. I got a bunch of stuff at the Goodwill and I'm going to at the thrift stores for my kids and gift cards. And um, 
going to ship that out today. And I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.